Alright, so I am going to be showing you guys how to get the pumpkin head in Toontown Corporate Clash in 2024. It's not really that different from all of the other years, and I am doing it on Marvin because I don't think I have the pumpkin head unlocked on this tune in this date and time. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep this real short and straightforward and to the point, okay? So, let's just head off to our first location. Okay, so the first location is in a building called Wacky Way Waving Inflatable Arm, fl arm Flailing Tube Man. Try wrapping your head around that. It's in Toontown Central on the Wacky Way Street. And all you have to do is just walk right in, and then you just say trick or treat. And then, just like that, you will be given 100 jelly beans and 60 back coins. And then, that is the first step done out of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's a lot of steps for this. But the next one is on I See Seafood in Anchor Avenue in Barnacle Boatyard. And I can't teleport there, so that means I'm going to have to walk, which kind of sucks. But, yeah. Uh, anyways, cutting away. So yeah, again, the second location is on IC Seafood in Anchor Avenue, so it's not too far away from the entrance itself to the tunnel. And again, you just walk right in, and then you just say trick or treat, and then you get a little bit of dialogue, and just like that, you get 100 more jelly beans and 60 more bat coins. And then we're off to the next one, which is in Ye Old Toontown, Wizard Way. And I can't teleport, so I have to run. <laughs> okay, so for the third one is in a place called Watch Out for Debris Contractors, located on Wizard Way. This took me like... I kid you not, I had to switch districts like five times because this building was taken over by the cogs non-stop, and I'm like, what the heck, dude? So, yeah, anyways, you go to Halloween, and you say trick-or-treat, and then just like that, you got more jelly beans and more back coins. And now we're going to head off to the fourth location, which is in Daisy Drive, so, yeah cutting away. Okay, so Silly Statues is located kind of in the midpoint of Daisy Drive here in Daffodil Gardens, so it's not too hard to find, and thankfully I didn't have to switch districts or anything. So, um, yeah, let's just, uh, the same thing as always, you just say trick or treat, and there you go. You got more goodies. So now we're like, I don't know, like about halfway done i guess because there's like seven or eight locations so next place we go to is soprano street which is in mezzo melody land okay so i had to switch districts a few times but on soprano street you go to pirates on the high seas and that's where you will get your next trick-or-treat thing oh my gosh having to switch districts so much after all that walking just kidding i'm teleporting to marty i have him logged on right now you say trick-or-treat and there you go more bad coins and more jelly beans and then the next place we're gonna go to is walrus way in the berg which I can't teleport, so I'm going to try not to cry. Okay, so the sixth location that you have to go into is Nothing to Ludge and Walrus Way. And again, I had to switch districts several times because the cog buildings would not stop taking over. It just happens nonstop, and it's so annoying. But anyways, you go in and you say Trick or Treat, and once again, you get more bad coins and jelly beans. And then the next location we have to go to is Walnut Way in Acorn Acres. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys right there. Okay, so Tree's a crowd on Walnut Way in Acorn Acres, which is kind of like near the end of the street, but it's a pretty small street with a decent shortcut, so shouldn't take you too long to get into here. And you guys know the drill. For you go to Halloween, and then you say trick or treat once again. And there you go, got your bat coins, got your jelly beans, and then we have one more place to go to in Lullaby Lane, it's called Deep Sleep for Cheap, so let's go right straight there. Okay, so the last one is on Lullaby Lane, and the building name is Deep Sleep for Cheap, so pretty easy to find because it's like right near to the beginning of the page, uh, near the tunnel, so... It's kind of hard to miss, but there might be a few cog buildings spawning in here and there, so you just gotta be careful of that. 
and then for the last time you go to Halloween and then you just say trick or treat one more time and just like that we got the pumpkin head and then you also get a hundred jelly beans and 60 more bat coins and that's pretty much it actually for how to get the pumpkin head this year that's all there really is to it it's the same as any other year but you know what my point still stands that there's always going to be people that are going to try to search up how to do it in 2024 and I'll always come back to do it again as each year progresses forward and who knows maybe i'll have to make another tune just so i could do it because i've done it on several other tunes but anyways that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i guess i'll see you guys next time uh give me a two that's a five that's not what i'm looking for